What's up guys, before we get into today's video, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Fatboy Waffles. Have you ever wanted to get your hands on one of those cool overseas bowling balls, but didn't want to pay premium pricing? Or did you want to be the first to get your hands on one of the brand new bowling balls coming here stateside, but didn't want to have to wait until release date? Well, look no further. My guy at Fatboy Waffles has got you guys covered. They have weekly and daily giveaways, raffles, all that good stuff on their Facebook page. So make sure you go check out the link in the description to go get into the raffles. My guy, Eric does a fantastic job. He's very dependable, very reliable. Shipping is very quick. So it gets to your door very fast once you win. Make sure you guys go check them out at Fatboy Waffles on their Facebook page. The link is in the description and tell them that Nate sent you. Nice to meet you. I'm garbage. Nice to meet you, I'm trash can. In this video, you're going to see me kick Nate's butt with the new effects. It's made from medium to heavy oil. I'm excited to throw this one. I've heard a lot of great things. I'll take it easy on him because you guys in the comments didn't like how mean I was to AJ. I'll try to tone it down a little bit for this video. I appreciate it. Yeah. Because you know, I, I go to the Masters next week and the last thing I want to do is for you to just beat me down to a low where I'm gonna finish very bad, so. You don't You don't need me to beat you for that time. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna be throwing a brand new overseas ball. Maybe not brand new, but it's uh, new to me. Probably new to you guys, probably haven't heard of it. Thank you to our sponsor for sending it to me, Fatboy Waffles. Fun fact, his last winner was actually from this channel. Yep. So let's make it two in a row. All right, player one is gonna go first. And that is me. That's Nate. We got the brand new to me, Marvel Blast. Ooh, that sounds like my favorite Baja Blast. It smells just as good. That's what we need. We need a Baja Blast Taco Bell sponsored bowling ball. Oh, Oof, good Gonna start. Stand and fight. Good start after the uh, 30 minute intermission. These lanes are pretty different. I'll be able to show some difference in the bowling ball because I'll be able to play a little bit deeper on this lane. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here we are, nothing's new. We're very happy. <laughs> Just from the few shots I have seen this, I am loving that, again, it is a pearl, but it is digging in the mid lane, which typically a pearl is gonna go a little bit further past the mid lane. It's giving me that good blend of where it's still reading in the mid part and still giving me that strong back end. It's still gonna dig in heavier volume patterns. Oh, I suck. So as I said, I am playing this lane about five words further right, which is great. So you guys are kind of seeing where I can play up the track and then a little bit further in. It has an NRG Pro cover stock on this. Has a marble core, obviously, 248050, symmetrical. And what I've noticed is it's pretty clean. This is the same cover stock as you've seen on like the IQ Tour Nano, that black one. I really like that one where I could play straighter. This one is not gonna be where I play straighter. I'm actually gonna open up the lane, but it still has a very smooth, clean reaction. And as you can see right there, it's really clean to the front part of the lane and likes to be smooth in the back end. I can see myself using this on uh, lower volume patterns. I don't see this ball handling oil very well because that NRG cover stock is meant to be a little bit smoother. And it's usually where you can play closer to the dry parts of the lane. I like it because it's very pretty. I do it like that pretty. color. That's like love, a really rich purple. I love purple and black. One of my favorite colors, like combinations. And it smells great. It's fruit pop as a smell, so it smells like a tropical drink. That was really good. Yeah. Fat Boy Waffles approved. Oh! Yeah, this... This right lane is toasty. That was slow. For those of you who don't know, leaving an eight pin and nine pin obviously means you're a little bit behind the move or something. But if you do leave them often, that means your roll is pretty good because it means your ball is going forward and driving through the pins. So it's not a bad thing because I'll definitely take that over leaving a 710 or like weird stuff. Or even a 10 pin because a 10 pin, 
even though it's still the same thing, like you could throw the ball good, if you're leaving 10 pins more often, that does mean that you could, you know, change your roll a little bit, get your ball to drive through the pins a little bit better. I worked really hard to change my roll, so I'll take these eight pins. And nine pins. Oh, but not if I oh miss them. Oh boy. <laughs> We're talking a little too much and not focusing. I normally use my spare ball, so I just wanted you to have an advantage. Thank you, babe. You're gonna need it. Thank you. All right, guys, that's a perfect example, is if you are not focused, it's that easy to miss an easy spare. So I just taught you a lesson. That was a little in. Little in, but it don't matter. That was good. I haven't shown you the layout, but this is the layout of mine. This is like a five and three eighths pin, so it's a weaker layout for me. Do you want to tell them what my layout is? Elise's layout is very simple. 60 by five by 35. I was pretty good. Picked up in the dry, so. I don't believe you. Thought it was gonna, I thought it was good. I got it to the right. I thought it was gonna overhook, but that NRG cover stock really likes to be very smooth and controllable. So that's why I, I, that's what I like most about this ball is I can control it. It's weaker, but I can still control it. Even though I did strike on the last shot, if you saw it, it was a little bit higher. Obviously I am pretty high in the pocket on both of them, leaving the eight pin and nine pin. So I'm gonna move like two and one off that last shot, even though I struck. I'm still going to be trying to throw it to the right. There we go. Okay, good. I moved that two and one, still got the kick. It wasn't a flat 10. I actually tapped it, <laughs> tapped it. So over here, I'm gonna move a three and one because I still, you know, two and one is still kind of keeping everything parallel, but I still wanna be able to send it to the right. So I'm just gonna move in further to the oil and still try to send it pretty far right. Three and one, you feeling okay? Yeah, gonna nosebleed. A little sick. Okay, I didn't quite send that as right as I want. Well, that was even better because it dug in the oil and still got the 10 up. So I know if I got it right, that would have still been split the eight and nine. That's even better reaction than I could have asked for that. I tugged it in and I got the tap. All right, a little score update. Nate got the help with the eight pin and the nine pin. Pretty good. All right, so the last one went high, so I'm gonna now play both lanes the same. Can I just tell the people that you didn't strike once before this started? Okay, don't say once. I no. struck at least twice, but I had like 10 practice shots. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, a little worried for him that he was gonna embarrass himself, but, yeah, but you know, we're I just wanted to prove the point that you're that competitive that if it's against me, you'll find a way. You, you need to find, find a way. way. You need to find a way against other people. Winners find a way, and uh, you know you're just my little guinea pig, and I'm going to oh. take it out on tour. And All right, good. Next really week you're going to take it out on Belmo. Oh, I really hit that. Okay, good. I stood in the same spot as the top ten. Really impressed with this ball. Really, really impressed. It's definitely giving me a different type of roll than I have seen from the previous forensic stuff I've thrown. Maybe it's the four different colors, I don't know, but I'm excited to drill another one of these balls to just kind of see if I can get something that is a little bit more in front of me, where it's still sharp and I can stay a little bit closer in front of me for like longer patterns, when you don't quite need a solid, but you still need something to like dig in the oil and be more popped down late. I rolled that a little bit more. Holy crap, that dog. Dang, I really like that shot. This is what I get for towards the end of the 24 hour challenge, just throwing house balls at my spares and not caring. Excuses. No, but the, literally I was saying that to myself. I was like, I'm going to forget how to shoot a spare because I was just messing around. Hook in the oil. No doubter. Sam Piper Ball. Yeah, Sherry, good job, Sherry. Good job, Sherry. All right, back to bowling. Oh, that's got a hook. I don't know, man. Like you guys see, these overseas balls are pretty dang good. So if you haven't already, you gotta go check out Fat Boy Waffles, man, and get yourself in those raffles. I mean, they're some of the cheapest entries 
to get a chance to get one of these bowling balls. I've seen $5, I've seen $10, $15, $20. The ratio of people that get in is usually on the lower side. So your chances of winning are up there. So you guys gotta go check them out. It's uh, throwing a good, it doesn't work. I'm gonna try to throw it a little worse and see if I can strike. I threw that harder, so that should be good. That flash shot over red a little bit, even though I really liked it, I am gonna move my eyes in a little bit. And I threw it right, but that's okay, baby, because it came back. I I have to leave the seven pin now to leave the whole back row. Yep. All right, Think that's the goal now. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna leave the seven pin. But you guys see that? That, that came back from 17 zip codes further right. I can, in fact, still pick up spares, I promise. If you got to this part in the video, and I seven pin right now, everyone that is still watching at this time owes me $100, okay? You're, you're stuck now, I already know you got here. Moving one and one left, I hit the crap out of it. It's either gonna light seven or blower seven. Oh, you threw that too good. Oh my God, it was so close. We do that too good. No, that that was pretty close. Because yeah, I almost score seven. That was good, but you threw right, it. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the best 203 game. Yeah, if I picked up my spares. It would have been 230. Yeah, no, that was a good game. As you guys saw, the reaction's pretty good. I know you guys got a pro shop near you, so you can go pick this up. It is out. This isn't a pre-ball review. It is already out, so if you liked what you saw, and you should have, go to your pro shop right now and ask for the camera effect. We beat Elise. I know you guys like that. You guys absolutely love when I beat Elise. So no one ever. <laughs> so we're gonna try to finish off this 290 game. And we're not because at least took 20 minutes to throw that 10 frame. Oh yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, oh, now you're talking to me about making excuses and now you're blaming me. No, it's fine. I, I blame it. myself. Yeah, I was a little slow, so I'm gonna pick this up and then we're gonna boo. move five left. Everyone boo Nate it. in the comments. Let's make a spare. Okay. Ten dollars says he chops this. Let's not make this fair. <sighs> so when this video is done, we're, we're gonna be practicing more because I leave for the Masters tomorrow. Nate got another dub on the channel even though I threw it way better than two of three. Congrats. Thank you so much. And just for you guys, I'm gonna throw one more shot. That's how we should have ended on things.